Homeschooling. It evokes different emotions for everyone. For some, it's a dream of tailored education and close family bonds. Homeschooling offers incredible rewards. Imagine your child's eyes lighting up as they grasp a concept. Picture joyful learning adventures, customized to their passions. Think about the family meals and shared discoveries. You become a guide, a mentor, nurturing their strengths. It's about exploring the world together. And let's not forget the flexibility homeschooling offers. Homeschooling is not without its challenges. Acknowledge these hurdles to overcome them. Time management is a big challenge. Balancing teaching, household tasks, and work can feel like a juggling act. Keeping children motivated is another challenge. Even enthusiastic learners have off days. Socialization is a common concern. Connecting with other homeschooling families provides support and community. There are solutions and support to help you thrive. One of the biggest hurdles for homeschooling parents is time management. Juggling lesson plans, housework, meals, and maybe even a part-time job can leave you feeling like a circus performer. Finding enough hours in the day to wear all those hats effectively is no easy feat. You want to give your children a rich and engaging education, but you also need to keep the household running smoothly. It's easy to feel overwhelmed by the sheer volume of tasks demanding your attention. So how do you find a balance? Create a schedule that provides structure without being rigid. Set realistic goals and focus on quality over quantity. Block out chunks of time for different subjects or activities. Flexibility is one of the greatest gifts of homeschooling. Embrace it. Let's talk about practical tools and strategies to maximize your time. One word, delegation. Don't try to do it all yourself. Enlist the help of your spouse, older children, or even extended family members. And don't underestimate the power of technology. There are countless apps and online resources designed to streamline your homeschooling life. Use digital calendars to keep track of appointments and deadlines. Batch similar tasks together to save time. And remember, it's okay to say no sometimes. Protect your time and prioritize what matters most to your family. One of the most significant adjustments homeschooling parents face is the constant juggling act of wearing multiple hats. You're not just a parent anymore. You're also a teacher, a principal, a guidance counselor, and sometimes even the school janitor. It's no wonder that many homeschooling parents feel overwhelmed. You're responsible for creating lesson plans, grading assignments, organizing field trips, and resolving conflicts between siblings. And let's not forget the emotional labor involved in homeschooling. You're constantly encouraging, motivating, and supporting your children. It's easy to feel like you're being pulled in a million different directions. It's important to acknowledge these challenges and develop strategies to maintain a healthy balance. The good news is that you don't have to do it all yourself. One of the keys to balancing multiple roles is learning to delegate and outsource tasks whenever possible. Start by assessing your strengths and weaknesses. What tasks do you enjoy and excel at? What tasks drain your energy or cause you stress? Once you have a clear understanding of your own capabilities, look for opportunities to share the load with others. If your spouse works full-time, maybe they can handle bath time and bedtime stories, giving you a few precious moments to yourself in the evening. If you have older children, involve them in age-appropriate household chores, or even enlist their help with teaching younger siblings. Don't be afraid to ask for help from extended family or friends. Maybe your parents would love to spend an afternoon baking with the kids while you tackle lesson planning. Or perhaps a neighbor would be willing to swap childcare duties once a week so you can have some dedicated work time. Prioritizing self-care. Nurturing your well-being. It's easy to neglect your own needs, but self-care is essential for your well-being. Make time for activities that bring you joy. This could be reading a book or taking a walk in nature, indulging in a hot bath. Physical activity is crucial for managing stress. Find an exercise routine you enjoy, whether it's yoga, running, or dancing in your living room. Moving your body will do wonders for your health. Don't underestimate the power of connection. Make time for social interaction. Taking care of yourself is an investment in your well-being. 
By prioritizing self-care, you'll create a nurturing environment for your children. The motivation dip, recognizing the signs. You've planned a fantastic lesson, but instead of enthusiasm, you're met with resistance. Their eyes glaze over, they drag their feet. Sound familiar? Even eager learners experience dips in motivation. Children like adults have their ups and downs. It's not about capability or intelligence. There are countless reasons for struggling with motivation. Identify the root cause to address the lack of motivation. Sparking the joy of learning hands-on and engaging activities. Inject fun and excitement into their homeschooling experience. Learning doesn't have to be confined to textbooks. Powerful learning happens outside the traditional classroom. Think hands-on activities, field trips, and experiments. Ignite their curiosity and desire to explore. Make learning an immersive, multi-sensory experience. Empowering ownership, choice, and voice in education. One of the unique advantages of homeschooling is the ability to personalize your child's education to their individual interests and learning styles. When children feel like they have a say in what and how they learn, their motivation and engagement soar. Start by involving them in the curriculum selection process. While you'll want to ensure a solid foundation in core subjects, there's plenty of room for flexibility and choice within those areas. Allow them to explore topics that pique their interest, whether it's ancient civilizations, marine biology, or creative writing. Let them choose books, documentaries, or online resources that align with their learning style. Some children thrive with visual aids, while others prefer auditory or kinesthetic learning methods. Experiment with different approaches until you find what clicks with your child. Give them opportunities to showcase their learning in ways that excite them. Instead of traditional tests, Encourage them to create presentations, write stories, build models, or even film videos to demonstrate their understanding. Celebrate their accomplishments, no matter how small, and provide constructive feedback that focuses on their effort and progress. Remember, when children feel seen, heard, and valued for their unique strengths and interests, their love for learning will blossom. The isolation trap, recognizing the signs and challenges. Homeschooling, while offering incredible flexibility and personalized learning, can sometimes lead to feelings of isolation, both for parents and children. The absence of a traditional school environment with its built-in social structures and daily interactions can create a sense of disconnect from the outside world. Parents might find themselves longing for adult conversation, missing those casual chats at the school gate, or the camaraderie of a teacher's lounge. The weight of responsibility of being their child's sole educator and social director can feel heavy at times, especially without the support system of a school community. Children too can experience social isolation in homeschooling. They might miss the spontaneous interactions of a playground, the shared jokes of a classroom, or the thrill of team sports. While homeschooling offers opportunities for deeper, more meaningful connections, it requires more effort to create those opportunities. The isolation trap can be particularly challenging for families new to homeschooling who are still navigating the transition and building their support networks. It's essential to recognize the signs of isolation, feelings of loneliness, withdrawal, or a lack of motivation, and to address them proactively. Section two, building bridges, connecting with homeschooling communities. One of the most effective ways to combat isolation in homeschooling is to connect with other homeschooling families. The good news is that homeschooling communities are thriving in many areas, offering a sense of belonging, support, and shared experience. Local homeschooling groups organize a wide range of activities, from park days and field trips to co-op classes and curriculum fairs. These gatherings provide opportunities for children to interact with peers who share similar interests and values, while parents can exchange ideas, seek advice, and simply enjoy adult conversation. Don't be afraid to reach out and introduce yourself to other homeschooling families in your area. Attend local events, join online forums, or simply strike up a conversation with a homeschooling parent at the library or park. 
you might be surprised by how welcoming and supportive the community can be. Another way to foster connections is to create your own opportunities for socialization. Organize playdates with other homeschooling families, start a book club for kids with similar interests, or even form a study group for a particular subject. The key is to be proactive and creative in seeking out social connections that work for your family. In today's digitally connected world, virtual communities offer another avenue for homeschooling families to combat isolation. Online forums, social media groups, and virtual learning platforms provide spaces for homeschooling parents to connect with others from around the globe, sharing resources, advice, and encouragement. These online communities can be particularly valuable for families in rural areas or those with unique homeschooling approaches who might not have access to robust local networks. For children, online platforms offer a plethora of opportunities for social interaction and learning. Virtual clubs, gaming communities, and online courses provide spaces for kids to connect with peers who share their passions, whether it's coding, creative writing, or Minecraft. Virtual field trips, museum tours, and live events streamed online offer further opportunities for enrichment and engagement, allowing children to explore the world from the comfort of home. While virtual connections should never replace the value of face-to-face -face interactions, they can be a valuable supplement, expanding social horizons and providing a sense of community. Remember, overcoming isolation in homeschooling is an ongoing process. It requires effort, intentionality, and a willingness to step outside your comfort zone. But the rewards, a sense of belonging, a strong support network, and a rich social life for both you and your children are well worth the effort. Stepping into the world of homeschooling curriculum can feel like entering a labyrinth of endless choices. Shelves upon shelves of textbooks, workbooks, online programs, and educational philosophies promise to unlock your child's inner genius. Each curriculum boasts its own unique approach, its own set of colorful manipulatives, and its own enthusiastic testimonials from homeschooling families. It's enough to make your head spin. The pressure to choose the perfect curriculum, the one that will magically transform your child into a scholar, can be immense. You might find yourself flitting from one option to another, seduced by glossy catalogs and glowing online reviews. The fear of missing out, of neglecting some crucial aspect of your child's education, can lead to a frantic piling on of resources. Before you know it, your dining room table is buried under a mountain of workbooks, your computer groans under the weight of downloaded programs, and your child's eyes glaze over at the sheer volume of material. This curriculum overload can be overwhelming for both parents and children. It can lead to burnout, frustration, and a loss of the joy of learning. The key is to remember that more is not always better. Instead of trying to cram every subject, every activity, and every educational philosophy into your homeschooling day, start by identifying your non-negotiables. What are the core subjects you want to prioritize? What are your family's educational values? What are your child's learning strengths and interests? Once you have a clear understanding of your priorities, you can begin to narrow down your options. Many homeschooling families find it helpful to choose a solid core curriculum for subjects like math, language arts, and science. This provides a structured framework for learning and ensures coverage of essential concepts. However, don't be afraid to deviate from the core curriculum when your child's interests or needs dictate. Supplement with unit studies, hands-on projects, or online resources that delve deeper into topics that ignite their curiosity. For example, if your child is fascinated by ancient Egypt, you might supplement your history curriculum with a trip to the museum, a visit from an Egyptologist, or a project building a model pyramid. The key is to create a learning experience that is both comprehensive and engaging, tailored to your child's unique needs and interests. Section 3. Mastery over Miles. Embracing Depth and Individualized Pacing. One of the greatest gifts of homeschooling is the freedom to move at your child's pace. Unlike traditional schools, where curriculum is often dictated by standardized tests and grade-level expectations, homeschooling allows for true individualized learning. 
Encourage your child to delve deeply into topics that fascinate them, even if it means spending weeks or even months exploring a single subject. Don't be afraid to slow down, to linger, to allow your child the time and space to truly master a concept before moving on. Remember, the goal is not to race through the curriculum, checking off boxes as you go. It's to cultivate a love of learning, to foster critical thinking skills, and to equip your child with the tools they need to become lifelong learners. Regularly assess your child's progress, not through standardized tests or rigid benchmarks, but through observation, conversation, and their own demonstrations of understanding. Adjust your curriculum as needed, adding or subtracting resources to meet their evolving needs. Embrace the flexibility of homeschooling to create a learning experience that is both challenging and enjoyable, one that fosters a sense of accomplishment and a genuine love of learning. Recognizing the signs burnout in parents and students. Burnout. It's common in parenting, teaching, and homeschooling. For parents, it shows as chronic fatigue, irritability, and dread. You might snap at your kids, struggle with planning, or feel resentful. For children, it appears as a loss of interest, resistance, and physical symptoms. They might become withdrawn or irritable. Ignoring burnout can harm your well-being and homeschooling journey. Recognize early signs and take steps to prevent burnout. Section 2. Prioritizing Well-Being. Strategies for a Sustainable Homeschool Life. Preventing burnout in homeschooling requires a shift in mindset from a focus on achievement to prioritizing well-being and balance. Create a sustainable rhythm that nourishes minds, bodies, and spirits. Build regular breaks into your schedule. Intentional downtime is key for recharging and de-stressing. Take a day off each week to relax and reconnect. Schedule regular field trips for fun. Set realistic expectations and embrace flexibility. Allow freedom to learn at your own pace and explore interests. One of the most beautiful aspects of homeschooling is its ability to embrace the unique learning styles and needs of each child. In a traditional classroom, children with learning differences might struggle to keep pace. But in homeschooling, those differences can be celebrated as strengths. The first step is to shift our perspective. Embrace these differences as variations in how our brains process information. Strategies for different learning styles. Understanding your child's unique learning style is crucial. Visual learners thrive with visual aids and colorful illustrations. Auditory learners absorb information through listening. Kinesthetic learners need movement to learn effectively. Tactile learners excel with hands-on activities. Tailor your teaching methods to your child's learning style. Section 3. Seeking Expert Guidance. Building a Support Network for Success. Navigating the world of learning differences can feel overwhelming at times, even for the most dedicated homeschooling parents. Remember, you don't have to do it all alone. Seeking expert guidance from professionals who specialize in learning differences can provide invaluable support, resources, and insights. An educational therapist, for example, can assess your child's learning strengths and weaknesses, recommend appropriate interventions and strategies, and work with you to develop an individualized learning plan. Speech therapists can address challenges with language processing, articulation, and social communication, while occupational therapists can help with fine motor skills, sensory processing, and executive functioning. Don't hesitate to reach out to your local school district as well. Even though you are homeschooling, you may be eligible for certain services, such as assessments, therapies, or assistive technologies. Connecting with other homeschooling families who have children with similar learning differences can also provide a sense of community, support, and shared wisdom. Online forums, social media groups, and local homeschooling organizations can connect you with families who understand the joys and challenges of homeschooling a child with unique learning needs. Section 1. Embracing the Journey. Celebrating Growth and Resilience. As we reach the end of this exploration of homeschooling challenges and solutions, take a moment to acknowledge the incredible journey you're on. Homeschooling is not for the faint of heart. 
It's a path that demands dedication, flexibility, and a whole lot of love. There will be days when you question your sanity, when the laundry piles up higher than the textbooks, and when the thought of explaining fractions one more time makes you want to scream into a pillow. But amidst the chaos and the challenges, there will also be moments of pure magic. The joy of watching your child's eyes light up as they grasp a new concept, the pride of witnessing their creativity blossom, the deep satisfaction of knowing you're providing them with an education that nourishes their mind, body, and spirit. Remember, homeschooling is not about replicating the traditional school experience at home. It's about creating a learning environment that is uniquely tailored to your child's needs, interests, and learning style. It's about fostering a love of learning that extends beyond textbooks and classrooms, a love that is nurtured through exploration, discovery, and real-world experiences. Section 2, You've Got This, A Final Word of Encouragement. So as you navigate the ups and downs of your homeschooling journey, remember this, you are not alone. There is a vast and supportive community of homeschooling families out there who understand the joys and challenges you face. Reach out to them, connect with them, learn from them, share your triumphs and your struggles, and most importantly, give yourself grace. Homeschooling is not about perfection. It's about progress. It's about creating a learning environment where your child can thrive, where they feel loved, supported, and empowered to reach their full potential. So take a deep breath, trust your instincts, and embrace the adventure. You've got this. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and click that notification bell so you won't miss any of our videos. Thanks for watching Russell's Loving Life.